you see, do you see that there's shit right there? <laughs> Can you see the stain right there? Yeah. Now I have the guitar on. And the, I feel like this red and red is good. Um, definitely not tense. Doing my little moves. Yeah, look at that! Look at that! Fuck you! Comfortable. Yeah. Relaxed. The Ivan Anderson approach to life. Is that it? Okay, here's me using Google Maps to look at pictures of my hometown on Street View. When I find one I like, I try to make the perspective messed up. As you can see, there's some weird stuff happening with the Google Street View. Uh, the perspective isn't quite right sometimes. You can see how those poles are coming out of the earth at an angle that looks uh, completely unrealistic. That's what we want. Uh, so when I find that, I take a screenshot then I crop it to make it fit, uh, and then I saturate the colors as much as possible. This is like a standard move for cyber attack music videos, is to just saturate the colors as much as possible. Uh, sometimes I'll export the image saturated and then re-import it so that I can saturate the colors again. Uh, I'm trying to make everything look like super colorful, like a memory of a dream. Okay, that's pretty good. Uh, then I'll put me in front of it, jumping rope, and then also it says Google in the sky. So definitely want to just zoom in on that and use that. Okay, then we have some random footage of balloons. Uh, this is because when my collaborator John was a film student, one of his assignments was to digitize film. So we just had to take some random film out of the archive they had and digitize it. And that's how we got these balloons. Uh, so first we're gonna saturate the colors again to the point of distortion. That's on purpose. Uh, then we're gonna add a zoom effect because it's dumb. Also it uh, shows off the distortion even more. Okay, then we take that version and send it to Greg. Greg is the guy we know who has analog video equipment this is the part that i don't really understand but he has an analog video mixer and he does some stuff with software and he sends the video through that that and has like weird effects built into it and he messes with those and sends it back to us and it looks like that uh, so then we saturate the colors again uh, and then we crop it and reflect it on itself so that it takes up the whole screen uh, and then we put me in front of it that's the finished shot this is the final application that ended up being the first shot of the music video.